Hello, and welcome to Daddy Share Space. I have a couple of expensive triangle squares in the shop, and I need to create a better temporary storage solution. This is not a final solution, as I have a long way to go when it comes to being proficient with my tools. It's nice to go into the shop when I have time after work or on the weekends. My shop is my escape into my own world where I get to explore my ideas as I try to bring them to life. The process helps me to have greater appreciation for those who are skilled craftsmen. At the same time, I get excited with what I can eventually become as a craftsman myself if I stick with it. I'm thankful that I'm blessed to be in a position to be able to purchase some truly innovative tools to help me along the way as I reset my center working with my hands in the shop. There will always be the next project, the next tool, building on my skills and techniques as I reach for my own personal zenith. Tossing aside the negativity, I walk to the light of the support of those with a kindred spirit those who want to discover and grow, those who want to progress from dependence to independence to interdependence. I do hope to become a skillful craftsman one day, but for now, I'm simply enjoying every single step in the journey. I made numerous errors attaching boards that were not cut to length, using nails that were too long for the application. All these missteps tell me that I need to be in the shop more so that I can become more familiar with not just my tools, but the process as well. This is all easier said than done due to the nature of life. I don't know about you, but it seems that as I've grown older, the training wheels of life have been removed. No longer can I expect the trials of life that I was unaware of to simply pass me by. Like a sponge, my experience has soaked up every single challenge, big and small, keeping me on my toes from one moment to the next. I have learned that when life becomes overwhelming, it's best to just pray and go to sleep to prevent any harm from being done through rash actions that only worsen the situation. Working with my hands in the shop and growing my skills as a YouTuber has provided me with an outlet that provides mile markers, if you will, that help me to see a progression in my own life during those long seasons that appear to be engulfed in setbacks and stagnation. The book of Ecclesiastics in the Bible sums up life in a verse that says that the best we can hope for is to find joy in our work. I know when we look around, we see people with a better quality of life than our own. This is true for all of us. We all want what we do not have. That is the unfortunate state of the human condition. According to scripture, godliness with contentment is great gain, so I think I'm gonna strive for that. I'm genuinely happy for those who have more skill than I have. If they did not exist, then what would I strive for? I'm also happy for those who have more and better tools than I have. If they did not exist, how would I know what to purchase next? Jokes aside, my goal is not to be off-putting. My goal is simply to be me. I am a man who chose a career in nursing, and that career after nearly 25 years has afforded me the opportunity to set off on the journey to become a prospective DIYer who shares his journey with the world. Mistakenly, 
I did assume that people would respect the fact that I put my money where my mouth is and came out of pocket to purchase my vast collection of tools. Setting that fact aside, I think it best to have more than one reason for what you do so that if one aspect fails to go as expected, you have other motivations that propel you forward. Personally, I have found that in the process of developing all my DIY skills, which ultimately benefit my family, that's most important. Thank you for taking the time to check out the video, and I hope you stop by again. Take care. This is obviously not perfect, but it at least gets these things up off the ground, so I'll take it. And I might make something to where these don't fall out, because these are things I use quite a bit, and we'll go from there.